Joe, looking back on this season, uh, what did you think of it? Obviously, I was I wasn't there long. Um, first first few games, the first the first game we uh, was sort of away, which was a bit of a disaster to be honest. Um, obviously, I'd never played with with the lads, and then but after that, it felt like um, it felt like it improved a lot. Um, we beat Leek at home, which was a which was a big turning point in the season. Although. We'd be the season we've never really got going when I signed. We, I think I only played about six games, but in them six games, I felt I felt like it was positive, good energy, and um, Wayne, the assistant manager, made a made a big difference as well. He came in in, in positive vibes, and it were it were good. What have you been doing to keep in shape during the lockdown? To be honest, I've probably done more than I've ever done, um, just because. Um, I think I think you want to get out of the house and and try and and try and just do some exercise because it's just one of them things at the minute where if you if, if if you don't get out and do exercise your mentality can can go real 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 low. Um, I'm I'm I tend to be going. I bought a bike, so I've been I've been going about forty fifty k uh, when I got a, a few times a week. Okay. Like trying to keep my average speed up, so for fitness as well, not just going on a leisurely bike. Um, I'm get, I'm trying to get out running a couple of times a week. So I'd say I'm doing um, four or five cardio exercises a week, um, and I'm feeling fit, um, ready to go again. Just just when that is, I don't know. If you was in lockdown with any player, past, present, if you've played with uh, them or if you haven't. Um, to spend lockdown with who would that be? I'd go my two brothers Harry and Lars probably just because we're, we're, we're all best mates and uh, we got on well we all love the same things and we just play football every day I think Who's a player you look up to? Um, as a kid when I was younger hmm interesting um, I'd have to say uh, I'd go English because it's just how I am I, I'd have to say Michael Carrick Um I just thought he was a, a genius on the ball. And when I was younger, I used to play centre midfield, you see. So looking up to a player, I'd, I'd have to go with Michael Carrier just, just because of his passing range. And I just felt like uh, he didn't get a, a great opportunity with England just because of sort of Gerard and Lampard in front of him. But I felt, I felt like he should, have, he should have done a bit more with his international career as well. But obviously succeeded well at Man United, loads of trophies. What have you been doing that you wouldn't normally do during lockdown? Cycle. I bought a bike, so um, I think last time I went biking was when I was a little lad um, with my parents and my brothers, and so I can't. I'd say that that bike's been. It's 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 like it seems like I've had it years, but because I, I ride it every day, so it's like. Um, yeah, cycling really. Uh, I'd say cycling. I'm spending a lot of time with kids, which is I've got two young. I've got a, I've got a little boy called Jet and a girl called Romy. Yeah. And um, the little girl's nine months, and my boy's three. And um, it's been good to spend a lot of time with it uh, with with the, with the kids because I, um, usually I don't. It's usually um, my fiance who, who does a lot of the work with the kids. So it's nice to be in every day. Um, Spending time with them. A few questions from the Ilkeston Town fan pages on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, the first one is, who's got the best banter in the dressing room? Um, I think that's pretty obvious. Kieran Wells, uh, he's a funny guy. I got on with. I knew him before I, I signed, and I was speaking to him before. And he's, he, he just lightens everything up, even if you, well, you shouldn't really. But even if you lose, he's still got a bit. Um, he's still got a bit about in him. He makes you smile. Yeah, he's a good guy, top, top, top person. Well, he is. Who's the worst dressed in the squad? A bit of a tough one because I weren't there long. But um, thinking back, I'd have to. Pro- I think I'd probably go Wellsie, eh? um, just because I. <laughs> he's he's got some he's got some minging Reeboks, Reebok classics, and I just feel like his dress sense could be. It could be bad. Um, it's a bit of a gamble, but I'd have to go well. <laughs> okay. uh, so going to a few support questions, Ellis has asked on Twitter, uh, what are your ambitions for the next season? Ambitions are pretty straightforward. Um, we, 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 we've got, we're going in there to win the league. Um, 
we've got to have the right mentality and with the right squad. Um, the on, the only option is is this year we we want to win the league and get them get them fans buzzing again around NMG. Zine has asked on Twitter, best player you've played with in the Ilkson shirt. Um, the best player, uh, the best players, you know, has to be Shea Adams. Um, the year we lost in player final to Curzon Ashton, when we lost him in January February time, um, Shea was outstanding. Scored two of the best goals I've ever seen. Uh, one away at Ashton where he took the whole team on and just put it in top corner and then at home against FC United when he did the exact same but he, he was just frightening he was the best player in the league by far James has asked on Twitter what is so special about Oakson Town for you? The, the fans are uh, the fans are probably one of the best non-league fans in the country I've always got on with everyone at the club it's 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 given me a lease of life to be back and I sort of, I sort of felt like maybe football was coming to an end for me because I, I just felt like it was coming. And then these have given me another chance, and I've, um, I've sort of um, bounced back a bit from from. That's how Ulkeston makes you feel. Um, they're a great non-league club, and I just feel like that that nowhere else I'd want to probably end my career than Ulkeston. So, uh, John has asked on Facebook. Uh, other than the NMG, uh, what's your favourite gra- ground to play at? I'd have to be one of the grounds with a big attendance because I like big games. Um, I strive to play in bigger games. And I'd probably have to go um, FC United. Um, the times we played at... I mean, the new ground's nice, but I, I used to love playing at Gig Lane at Bure when they used to have 4,000 there and... Um, even in league, um, in in unibon unibon fixtures, which were crazy, but I used to love them games where they were singing all the way through and like just trying to get on your back. But I'd used to, I, I'd like the I preferred the pressure of bigger games. Yeah. Uh, finally, what's it like to be back? Fantastic to be back. Um, it's it it feel it felt weird just walking walking back into the into the ground the first session, um, but it's. It just feels like it just feels like it's back to normal already. It didn't even take me about. It didn't even take me a couple of weeks settling. I know a few at lads, and I just feel like um, I've got a good. I've got a good feeling for next year. Um, I feel like a couple more signings, um, and we're not far off getting right up there. So we've got a good base at the base of the base of the squad at the minute, and. Um, I'm just open for a good year uh, and we can push on and go up. And that's a wrap.